it looks like Nintendo Next Generation is getting another talking point as we talk about today about Nintendo Online and the so-called moot transition that's going to happen if we can get a new Nintendo console. But before we get into this story today, make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe, and enable your notifications, especially when we have covering gaming news. In addition, we might be doing a Patreon or YouTube membership program for this type of content. Make sure you guys keep keep an eye out in the description. And we are opening our Discord for gaming commentaries and gaming with Yuki. So let's get into today's story. And today we'll be talking about this one from IG. About Nintendo's plans for a smooth transition from Nintendo Switch 1 to next console by using player accounts so this refers to Nintendo online and playing the game online with your friends and we're going to take a look at this article and we will discuss Nintendo and this was this was also published June 27 2023 by Ryan Densendale Nintendo plans to give Switch players a so-called smooth transition to its next console using Nintendo accounts. Speaking during an investor's Q&A session translated by Genki on Twitter below, with this picture below here, Nintendo president Kentaro Furuaka indicated that Nintendo accounts would be staple for users going forward. And quote, as the transition from Nintendo Switch to the next generation machine, we want to do as much as possible in order to smoothly transition our customers while utilizing the, 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 the Nintendo account, he said. And you can see this tweet by Genki, which was the translated by the FAQ. As you can see here, it says Nintendo President Centauro Furukara that's the plan to make smooth a transition for customers using Nintendo Switch to the next generation console by using the, the, the Nintendo account. There are currently 290 million Nintendo accounts across console and mobile. And as you can see here, this is what this is what the proposal is. As you can see here with the Nintendo account, if they go through with a second console. The article continues, Nintendo isn't historically known for a strong or consistent online infrastructure as Nintendo accounts were only introduced with the Switch. The Nintendo Wii U and Nintendo 3DS both utilize a Nintendo Network ID. And while these can be connected to the modern service, the, trans the transition was considered far from smooth by many. Furukara said there are now more than 290 million Nintendo accounts in use across console and mobile. However, seemingly giving the company a strong foundation to build its next generation infrastructure on. We will continue reading. This will therefore be a move similar to what Sony and Microsoft have been doing for years which uses PlayStation Network ID and Xbox Live accounts now having transitioned between three generations of hardware. Now, the next part is talking about Ubisoft, in particular a game called Mario and Rabbids Sparks of Hope. And it reads, Chatter around the next generation console, Nintendo console, have slowly been increasing recently. With Ubisoft CEO Yves Guillemot saying earlier in June he regretted releasing Mario Plus Rabbids A Spark of Hope on the Switch instead wishing he'd wait for the console successor, which is going to be what they call the Nintendo Switch 2. Lack for a better name, of course. Let's continue. Nintendo maintains the Switch is good for another year at least. However, saying in May a Switch successor won't be released until April 
2024 at the earliest. This comes despite a decline in Nintendo Switch sales. The console sold close to 18 million units in the last financial year, which is down 23 million units sold the year before and 28 million units be be before that. Rumors surrounding a new console had been circulating for years, even when analysts unsure if Nintendo was planning to release the Switch 2, for lack of a better name, as early as 2021. The new console was said to offer boosted graphics akin to the PlayStation 4 and its Pro model. But there is no official information regarding the piece, the next piece of Nintendo hardware yet. And by reading this, we learn that that is what they're planning to do for the next console. Now, you have to keep in mind that Nintendo themselves, in terms of online service, has not been going smooth at all. In fact, that when we started learning about Nintendo Switch Online, there was a lot of bugs, there was a lot of glitches, there was a lot of disconnects. And Nintendo isn't really known for their online games from, this, from the beginning. The first ones to do it are Microsoft and Sony with PlayStation Network and their Xbox, Xbox Live. Nintendo is late to the game in terms of online gameplay. But, this would be interesting to see if they can make faster the transition with the Nintendo account. Today's question of the day for this commentary. Number one, do you think Nintendo Switch 2 will ever come out in 2024? And number two, do you think the transition from Nintendo Switch 1 to Nintendo Switch 2 in terms of online gameplay will be described as mood, as described by this article. Let me know in the comments below, and I'll be reading, I'll be looking forward to your reply. And brand new, just starting, I'm trying this out, brand new, best comment of the day, or best comment of this commentary gets pinned up to the top. Okay, along with the question of the day, of course. So make sure you guys roll your responses because this could be interesting. I'm looking forward to this one. We'll see you on the next commentary. Enjoy.